Hello everybody and welcome to another session on um, in, in the Zoho Sales IQ series. So um, this session will be on building Zobots using the Zia Skills platform. Okay. So let's jump right into the webinar. So what is the Zobot? The Zobot is a bot development platform inside SalesIQ. With this, uh, SalesIQ users can build very compelling bots that can automate um, customer interactions. Uh, so we can program these bots to respond, to act and to qualify customers. So these Zobots, they maintain conversations with a user in natural language. They understand the intent of the user and they also send a response based on the business rules and data of the organization so they pretty much function uh, like a human operator uh, of your organization okay and remember that these can be run on both websites and on mobile applications next about sales IQ so um, like I already said the Zobot is a bot platform on Zoho Sales IQ and many of you are familiar with what Sales IQ is and how it works and for those of you who are new to the family and have uh, not attended our previous webinars let me brief you on what Sales IQ is okay so if you're a business owner who's looking to convert visitors from different platforms or different websites then Zoho Sales IQ is your one go-to solution. So it's a customer engagement platform that can be used to prospect, engage, convert and retain customers for potential growth in real time. And this was basically designed for customer support, business growth, sales, marketing, customer engagement and so much more. So it's basically live chat, visitor tracking, audio calls, mobile SDKs, powerful chatbots, which is our Zobot, obviously, and so much more rolled onto one platform. All right. The features that I had mentioned right now are just a few of the huge list of features that are available inside Sales IQ. So you'll start knowing about the features once you start exploring the platform. Okay, let's quickly begin setting up our Zobot before we jump into the platforms. So inside your Sales IQ portal, you will have to navigate to settings, Zobot and then click on add bot so now you'll have to give your bot a name okay I'm just gonna name my bot zip and then you will have to add a description and then we will choose the website on which we are going to deploy the zoo bot so I'm just going to be choosing one of these Following the website choosing, you will have to choose departments for which you want the Zobot to pick up chats for. So it's mandatory to choose at least one department for the website that you have chosen. Um, choosing more than one department is totally up to you, but choosing one is mandatory. Following that, we will choose visitor type. So when visitors land on your website and match a certain criteria, the Zobot will trigger a message to these visitors. Okay, so these messages are pretty much like proactive chat invites and for the visitors to be triggered with a proactive chat invite they need to match the criteria that you set here inside this section so the default here will be set to all visitors so you can modify this criteria whenever you want to all right so you will see a huge list of options to choose from you can uh, categorize them based on department landing page url lead score number of past chats and so much more so I'm gonna to stick to the uh, default category so I, because I want to trigger messages to all of my visitors and once you're done you will have to click on apply following that you will set when you want the Zobot to trigger your visitor alright so this can either be when they land on your site and spend more than so much time or when they click on the live chat widget they perform some custom actions say uh, they're navigating to a specific page or when they initiate a chat so I'm going to just stick to land on your site and spend more than three seconds because I don't want to keep them waiting Following that, I'm going to set working hours for my Zobot. You can either uh, configure the Zobot to work around the clock or during standard business hours or non-business hours or only when your operators are offline. 
so i'm just going to stick to round the clock because i want my bot to be available to pick up visitor chats 24 7 and then the bot typing status so when visitors uh, are sending out a message and are waiting for a response they need to know that the zobot is preparing a response to be sent out to them right so for that uh, for the purpose of engagement to keep the visitors informed we are enabling the bot typing status all right so i'm going to set this to immediate and then there's allow handoff so when your users or visitors are in the middle of a conversation with a zobot and they suddenly feel the need to talk to a human operator they can do so by using the uh, handoff option all right so when this option is chosen the chat uh, that was being handled by the zobot so far will be forwarded to all of the operators inside your organization and one of them can pick it up and answer the chat so for your users to be able to choose that option you will have to enable allow handoff here while configuring and setting up your zobot so following that we are going to choose the platform today's platform will be zia skills so let me take you through the steps we'll be going through in this first we'll configure zobot information which we had just done and then we will authenticate the zia skills platform we'll configure trigger responses skills and actions which are the base on which zobots and built using zia skills function and then we'll structure uh, structure the context handler function and the execution function and then you'll have dynamic text and we'll see how it works So what is Zia Skills? So it's a conversational bot building assistant that uses natural language understanding to process and perform skills and actions to respond to visitor questions. So this Zia Skills platform lets you build bots that are capable of more than just merely answering visitor chat requests. Zia Skills are smart enough to perform operations dynamically. They can fetch necessary data from sales IQ and they can also process it to construct contextual answers and so much more. Most importantly, Zia skills can be developed and managed on the platform itself. So you don't have to spend an extra penny out of your pocket. So that's the biggest advantage of the platform. So inside the Zia skills developer console, you can define a unique set of actions to respond to visitor questions. Uh, Zia skills functions on skills and actions uh, uh, like I already mentioned. So a skill in Zia skills is basically a collection of actions uh, that you define uh, for the bot to perform to website visitors. An action is, uh, on the other hand, a single task that has the ability to perform multiple conversations. So why Zia skills? Because uh, it gives you the benefit of using both plain text questions and code to configure the Zobot. You can insert questions manually or you can structure the code inside the context handler and the execution functions. So using Zia skills, you can directly answer visitors questions or you can construct answers by fetching data from sales like you and also you can perform actions dynamically based on each visitor who lands on your website. The Zia skills platform can not only answer visitors questions with the answers that you feed in, uh, it can also fetch data from sales IQ, it can consolidate it based on the context and give away a perfect solution based on the logic you are scripting inside the platform. So it can dynamically evaluate the appropriate answers based on the context. For instance, if you are running a real estate business, you can script Zia skills to display all of the projects that are being managed by you um, based on the location that the visitor is from. Yeah. So Zia skills can also be scripted to manage and to push data gathered by it during a conversation into third party applications, say Zoho CRM, for instance. Okay. So it comes with an incredible feature that will let you fetch prime details that visitors are giving away during a conversation by just defining a simple function. So like all other bot integrations that we have established, Zia skills platform can also put up attractive widgets to gather inputs from visitors during a conversation. So now the working, okay? So once a visitor lands on the website and uh, matches the trigger rules set inside the portal, the Zobot will trigger a message. If the visitor does not match the criteria, it will wait for the visitor to send out a message. So this is pretty much like all of the platforms. 
and once the message is received from the visitor side it checks the message for params and if they are not available the bot will start checking if the context in the visitor's message exists if the context is available uh, what happens is that it will collect all the inputs in the context message and the context handler function will execute so the context handler function here is used to define the flow of an action. It can be used to change the order in which params are prompted to users at runtime. So here you can skip params, you can do custom validations of param values, you can ask for confirmation before execution at runtime and so much more. So in case this context doesn't exist, then the execution function will come into play. So this is an endpoint to the execution of an action. So it will basically define the fulfillment of any action. So the actual action execution happens here and the success or a failure message will be sent to the user at completion. So this response can either be plain text or rich text. So uh, that's how the Zia skills platform uh, works. So um, as the next step, we are going to be authenticating the Zia skills platform. Since we're done setting up our Zobot, we're going to authenticate it now by adding skill names, descriptions, trigger responses, and then we'll access the Zia skills console. So let me show you how that's done. So if your email is already associated like the one here, I have already associated my email with the account. Uh, uh, you can choose the skill name uh, from the drop down here okay but if you're new you need to add a new skill I'll show you how to add one so just click on new skill and you will have to give your skill a name so I'm just gonna stick to uh, zip and say a website assistant so you need to add a description and then you will have to structure a uh, trigger message in the JSON format okay so this trigger response can either be plain text it can be a combination of plain text input cards and display cards and so much more so I'm just going to stick to a, a simple plain text trigger response I'm going to go to the uh, user guide and I'm just going to uh, copy paste a simple response so I'm going to go to authenticating Zia skills and here it is so you have samples for each type of uh, trigger response that you can configure for the Zia skills platform so I'm just going to copy a plain text response and I'm going to paste it here and I'm just going to make a few changes I'm just going to change the name of my bot okay so I'm just going to uh, modify that and then you can also configure action failure responses um, so you can define responses for, uh, you know, unexpected situations like uh, for messages that come in after standard business hours or when your operators are not available or the, the operator they're looking to connect is uh, does not exist. OK, so you can uh, there are default responses that are configured for each of these uh, cases and you can modify them uh, based on your requirements or you can stick to the defaults. So when you're done configuring all of these responses, you will click on create. So yes, the bot has been created successfully. You can edit the changes that you made. You can change the skill names and the trigger responses at any time by clicking on the edit option. And when you're done, click on save. So this preview window here can be used to review all of the changes that you have made inside your Zobot configurations. So the whole purpose of this preview window is that none of the changes that you make here inside your Zobot will be directly reflected on your website. Okay, so you can make changes and keep reviewing them inside the preview window itself. Only when you publish the bot to your website, the changes will be reflected on the website. Otherwise, you can ke still keep using the preview window. So you can access the Zia skills console by clicking on the access Zia skills console button inside the sales IQ platform. And this will take you to the Zia skills console. So this is the skill that we had created. The next one will be adding actions to the skill that we created. So like I said, the Zia skills platform functions on the basis of uh, skills and actions. An action is a single ability or a task that makes multiple conversations when an instruction is given during a conversation. So if you want to create an action, uh, the skill that we had created has already opened here and now we are going to click on add action. So now I'll give my action a name. I'm just going to say 
deals of the day assuming that we are going to deploying deploy this on uh, you know an online shopping website so there are two ways of answering the question so you can either click answer a question and give a direct answer and you can give sample invocations of how this question will come from the visitors side so let me say okay and then I'll give answers of uh, answers to the sample invocations that will come in from the visitors side okay so let me just say um, there is a 50% So I'm going to click next and then you can give the other ways uh, or other sample invocations of how these questions can come. Okay, so you can give in different forms of the same question with different word combinations so that your bot will get trained and uh, it can answer questions from the visitors whichever uh, structure they come in. So it will just look at the keywords and it will uh, give them the same answers. Alright, so let me say... So once I'm done entering all of the sample invocations, I'll click on save. So that is how you add a new action and choose directly answering a question. The second type will be, let us say combos and I'll say answer a question and construct answer by fetching data. So again, I will have to enter a sample invocation. Okay, so I can add a number of uh, invocations. So I can just say combos. Okay, so there are some users who might just enter one word. Uh, they can just say combos, and then also they will expect the bot to answer the question. So using these sample invocations, you can enter as many sample invocations as you can, and you can keep training your bot. So here we have something called um, params. So params are basically uh, the input data received from visitors to complete actions. So you can add new params by clicking on plus. So this one will be, I'll name it combos. And you have a different number, uh, different uh, types of params that you can select. All right. So I'll just give a single selection array and I'll say combo one, combo two and combo 3 all right so i'll just give a, a prompt message here okay and the mode of input will be textual and then i'm going to click on add should not be a word okay so i'll just say new okay so my params have been added so once my param has been added i'll click on done okay my action has been created successfully now we will be configuring the context handler function and the execution function the context handler function is again used to control the conversational flow of an action and you can change the order in which uh, params are prompted to users at uh, runtime you can also skip some params you can do custom validations of param values and you can ask for a confirmation before action execution in runtime all right so for the code you will have samples inside the uh, user guides so let me show you so here it is so i'm just going to copy this code and I'm going to paste it here 
all right so you can copy paste the code and make modifications uh, then based on your requirements all right and then we will start editing the execution function so the execution function like I had mentioned is an endpoint to action execution it defines the fulfillment of an action so this does the actual execution of the action and gives a success uh, or a failure message to the user as a result of completion of an action okay so you have uh, sample scripts for this as well alright so we're gonna copy paste it and again you can make modifications if you require alright so when the script is ready to be moved to production you will have to click update under the Zoho sales IQ tab so here is our bot okay so I will have to click on publish so the update button or the publish button will be visible only if there are any updates available in any of the custom actions written otherwise you will not be able to see the uh, update uh, button so then you have dynamic text in Zia skills so um, the text that can be conveyed dynamically uh, from one visitor to the other is called as uh, dynamic text this feature replaces normal text uh, with special and personalized messages that can attract your prospective leads so the Zia skills platform not only allows you to use plain text in your responses but also images URLs and uh, a lot of other rich text like that so for this you have two categories of cards called input cards and display cards input cards are basically used to uh, receive input from the visitors uh, side and display cards will be used to uh, display outputs to the visitors alright so there are some commonly used input cards you have response suggestions that can be displayed and then you have calendars to uh, set up your meetings and keep track of them you have feedback widgets to uh, take a look at what your visitors are talking about your brand and then you also have the location widget to offer location based services there's so much more that you can use so you have um, two types of feedback widgets happiness and star rating and you have range calendars range sliders and so much more then the display cards in display cards uh, you have three different options uh, you have you can display URLs to visitors inside the chat window and you can display their articles and FAQs they can access it right from the chat window so that they don't have to go searching for them and then you have images that can be used in combination with both articles and URLs to make your uh, chat window more appealing so this is what uh, response suggestion widget will look like inside the preview window dynamic text in Zia skills so the text that can be conveyed dynamically from one visitor to the other is mentioned in the defined rule is called dynamic text so this will replace normal text with special and very personalized messages that can attract your prospective leads so the dynamic text is populated when the percentage symbol is typed along with the message so you can use the dynamic text in trigger messages and in chat responses all right so i'll show you how to use it on the platform so i'm going to add some uh, dynamic text uh, because i want to greet my visitor uh, with his name all right so i'm just going to add it here inside my trigger response i'm just going to say percentage visitor dot name and then I'm going to click on save and then I'm going to go into the preview window and I'm going to edit the visitors name let me say William and I'm going to click on save and I'll refresh do you see this so this is how the message will be triggered to the website visitor in case the Zobot uh, matches his name or it identifies its name it will send him a proactive chat invite that gives a sense of belonging to the visitors on your website so this is a URL to the documentation uh, do check it out and uh, um, you can read so much more about the Zia scales platform about the features it has to offer and uh, the different configurations uh, that you can do for your website so check out our developer documentation and also don't forget to check out our code samples 
Also follow us on Twitter for more updates on the Zobot. So happy Zoboting!